this is Matthew with BI Polar. In today's video, we're going to look at the differences in data sharing and reuse between data flows and data sets in Power BI. Let's take a look. In a previous video, we looked at some of the general differences between data sets and data flows. But a common question is still, if I can have shared data sets in the Power BI service, where do data flows fit in? When would I use a data flow for reuse instead of using an existing data set? That's what we're going to look at here, and we're going to start with an existing workspace that already has data flows and data sets defined in it. So if we take a look here real quick, we can see that uh, looking at the lineage view, we have a bunch of data sources coming in. We've got a series of data flows that perform transformations uh, and get the data into both a set of dimensions. We've got a data flow that has all of the dimensions for these data sources. And then we have a data flow that pulls those into a star schema uh, with facts being calculated as well. And then we have uh, a data set that represents that model. And then we have reports and dashboards built on that. So for our first reuse scenario, the assumption is that the data set in the Power BI service gives me what I need. It already contains the intelligence, the measures, and other such things that I will need for my reports. I just need different reports. And if that's the case, I can come here into Power BI Desktop. I can say, get data, and choose Power BI data sets. I can search to find just the workspace or just the data set that I need. And then when I choose that data set, I can create a report from it. And I wanna pause for a second to look at the text and the phrasing in this dialogue. This is not your standard get data dialogue inside of Power BI Desktop. What I'm doing is not choosing yet another data source to add. What I'm choosing is a data set to create a report from. So even the way that this functionality, that shared data sets are presented in Power BI Desktop, it emphasizes that you're choosing a data set to be your data, not to add to your data. So when I choose create, Power BI Desktop is creating a live connection to that data set running in the Power BI service. And here I can choose uh, uh, columns or measures from any of the tables that already exist. But if you look up on the toolbar, you will find that there are no options to add data to this Power BI desktop file. I can't choose get data or recent sources or enter data or edit queries or any of the other options that you would expect if you were working with other data sources. And that's because when you're connecting to a shared data set, you're making a live connection and this does not allow you to incrementally add additional data to it. This is where data flows in the Power BI service come in. So let's go back into a new Power BI desktop window and we'll see what we can do with data flows instead. So here we are in our uh, second Power BI desktop file. Here I will say get data and I will connect to Power BI data flows. And as we can see here, not only can I navigate and find the workspaces, data flows and entities uh, to choose from, I can pick and choose what data I want. So here I've navigated to the existing workspace that we were looking at earlier, and I can pick and choose data from entities in those workspaces. I don't need to choose all of them. Uh, and when I am done, when I've found the data from this starting point that I need to work with or that I choose to work with, I can say transform data and I can use the existing entities that are part of this data flow or part of these data flows in the Power BI service. And I can use them as a starting point to build up my own data model, including transforming these entities between their current state and the, uh, the tables that I'm adding into my uh, data set that I'm defining right now. So if we look back here in our Power Query Editor window, which opens automatically because I chose transform, the next thing that I could do is I could say, I want to add in data from SQL Server, uh, from a text file, from a, a web API, or to choose from any of the available import or direct query 
uh, data sources that I may want to supplement this data from, and I can use both the existing data flow entities and any other data source that I choose to build up my model where the shared data flow is a part of it but doesn't represent the full model. And of course, once this is done, I can add my own intelligence, so time intelligence or measures or whatever DAX I want to add into my data model and then build my additional reports from there so that unlike working with a shared data set, I can pick and choose the parts that I want and then I can use that as the seed or the foundation for the data model that I'm building in my solution today. In this video, we looked at how a shared data set in Power BI can be used to build new reports and new dashboards in a different workspace by different users. And the power of a shared data set is the ability to have that full model with all of the intelligence that it includes to use as a starting point for new visualizations and new insights. We also saw how data flows can serve as these building blocks for having larger solutions where the entities in your data flows can be the pieces that you put together to define new data models and new data sets for reuse across your organization. Hopefully you found this useful. We'll see you next time.